Um, Kevin and Ed brought that idea for, to, this, to this site. We continued that along these first few projects. Let's talk about the soil, where I'm standing out here in the entire park. All the soil here, and it's about 18 inches deep, which is deeper than any other topsoil in, in a park in, in Missoula, I believe, uh, was made here, made out of the kind of stuff you see behind us here uh, and leftover soils from other projects. That was all screened out by Missoula College and used as topsoil. The idea for that was really Parks Department's Alan White uh, and he and working with Missoula College. I want to thank them too. Building materials, a lot of almost all the buildings on site were uh, deconstructed, if you will, uh, and the wood was right is right here in front of you, or standing underneath it. The timbers, the ceiling, the roofing, all came from from buildings on this site. Some of the the, the roofing came from the old city shops across the river. Sinker logs, the log here, logs here were pulled out from behind the Bonner Dam before it was, or after it was taken out. Uh, the path surface is natural products here, or that is uh, decomposed granite mixed with uh, ground psyllium seed husks, and we're hoping that that works. Remember I was talking about all that wood waste underneath here. This park moves a lot. It breathes seasonally, and almost daily there's moving, movements and changes here because of all that, those wood products underground. That's a problem. I mean, it's a problem for drainage. It's a problem for figuring out how you put in a hard surface trail. This kind of trail, we're hoping, it's a model, uh, will be easy to repair. It's not going not to be impervious, but it will be easier to repair. The lights in the parking lot, on the far side of the parking lot, actually vent methane. So we're able to co-use the same pole and providing light for the parking lot and create a, a, something that looks fairly nice, or darn nice, uh, to, to vent methane that's get, that could potentially gather underneath the parking lot. We don't think much there, but it's potential. The outflow on the far west end of the park was a deep, fast-running, uh, narrow, really fairly dangerous place to, to, to be around, especially in high water. That's been turned into kind of a natural creek bed looking thing through, uh, that was Mike Day at, at uh, TLI's idea, uh, to make something that is a little bit safer, and something you wouldn't mind sitting next to because uh, it's really nice.